Hey y'all. In this video, we're gonna make a ladybug that changes color and jumps around every time we click on her. I'm gonna run through this twice. The first time through, I'm just gonna figure out kind of what I wanna do. I'll build it up and then we'll do it a second time through and you can build it with me. So let's get started. Let's see what we wanna do. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna actually go and grab the ladybug. So I'm gonna go down here, choose a sprite, and we're gonna find our ladybug who is right here, ladybug one. We can move ladybug, that's fine. But what we wanna do is set up so that when we click on the ladybug, she jumps around automatically for us. I'm gonna go under events. We're gonna grab when this sprite is clicked because the sprite is the ladybug. We can make a bunch of progress pretty quickly by going to motion here and say, go to random position. So every time we click on the sprite or on the ladybug, she'll jump to a new position for us. Kinda all over the place. Sometimes farther, sometimes closer. Next up, color. Color is gonna be under looks. We want change color effect by 25. So we're jumping around and we're changing color. Next up, I think I want this ladybug to look in different directions. Like I like that I've got her jumping around and her changing colors, but I think it'd be better if she was looking in different directions. So under motion, we have point in direction. And I've got point in direction and point towards. Point towards just goes to the mouse pointer, but like that wouldn't always do great. Oh, actually, let's try that. I'm gonna try that for a second. I wanna see what this does. Because if we jump to a random position and then point towards the mouse pointer, she should look at wherever the, oh, that's actually not bad. I don't mind that at all. It's kind of confusing actually, because she looks where the mouse is and then I have to go get her and like, I wanna, I wanna click where I want her to go, but she keeps looking back to where she was. That's a little confusing for me. Okay, interesting. I'll keep that in my brain for later, but I'm not going to use that right now. We're going to run a different one. We're going to pull point towards out, delete that, and we're going to go grab point and direction. And the way point and direction works is if I click on this, it gives me a little arrow that I can point around this kind of clock face. And the direction that I'm pointing that arrow changes the number up here, which then changes the direction that our ladybug friend's going to look. So if I'm here and I've got it down into the right here, she looks that direction every time. And if I click and I move it and go up into the left, she looks up and the left every time. So she's changing direction that she's looking, but not doing it every time to a new direction. The way we can address that is down here in operators, there's pick random one to 10. I'm going to bring this one in and drop it in here and just kind of replace the point to direction number with that. And now if I run it, she, she's looking up basically all the same time. Every now and then it looks like she moves just a little bit to the left or to the right, but she's at least looking in a direction. So it didn't completely break. What we need to do to make her actually look all the way around in the same way that we have that kind of full circle is we need to change the second number from 10 to 360, which is how many ticks there are in a circle that you can look around in. Try it one more time. There we go. Look in different directions, changing colors, jumping around. I like it. There's one other aspect of this that I think I want to add in here though, which is as I click, she jumps instantly. Like it's just like, bam, right there. I, I think what I want to do is have her disappear instantly, but then fade in as she picks up her new position. I'm not sure what that's going to look like. We're going to take a look at this and see what this looks like. We're going to the random position. We're picking direction. We're picking our color. We've got those things in place. Let's add some more stuff in here. So when I click the sprite, I'm actually gonna hide the sprite. And so the first time I click, I think she's gonna disappear. Oop, right. And now I'm just gonna put shh. Oh, actually, no, let's do, let's not do the hide. Let's do this. Let's take this out and let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn her back on right here with this eyeball looking button so we can see her again. And the way that I'm gonna change her visibility, if we can see her or not, is I'm gonna use this change color effect again. So we've already got change color effect by 25, but I'm gonna switch this with a little triangle to ghost. And ghost, we'll just do this here for a second by itself. If I change ghost to zero and click, nothing happens. But if I change ghost to, oh, let's say 80, our ladybug fades way out. And if I go to 100, fades all the way out, just completely disappears. And if I go to 30, whoops, uh oh, I might have broken it. I definitely broke it. 10? Hello? Oh, we lost the ladybug. Oh no. Oh, 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 whoops. Sorry. This is changing effect by. 
so I keep adding numbers on here. So I just made that go from 100 to 110 when I clicked on it, to 120 when I clicked on it, to 130 when I clicked on it. It's not actually what we want to do. We want to, we don't want to change by, we don't want to add to the numbers. We want to set the number for right now just to play with. So I'm going to bring set in here. We'll go to ghost. And now if I set this to zero, hopefully ladybug comes back. There we go. So I can, I can either set the numbers directly or I can change them based off what they already are. I'll make another video about how to do that explicitly, but this is, this will get us started for now. First thing we want to do is when we click on the sprite, 100 means completely disappeared. So I'm going to click and go and do completely disappeared. Nice. Let's just do it at 70 right now. So we can actually see the ladybugs still a little bit. So there's, there's faded back. So we can still see her a little bit. Eventually we'll change that to 100 and make her just completely disappear. But for now, this will help us see what's happening. So if I throw this stuff back on now and run this, every time I click, she's moving. And then what we can do is at the end of this move, what I want to do is I'm going to add a control loop in here and I'm going to repeat this 10 times. And in those 10 times, now I actually am going to use this change because the value of ghost is going to be a hundred, which is all the way ghosted. And I want to subtract that all the way back down to zero. I'm going to subtract 10 from it 10 times. And so that would be 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, zero. And that should make her show back up. Yeah, it happened instantly. There's another, <laughs> there's another thing we need to do in here, which is this. We need to add a little bit of a weight in there. We want a little delay after each change. So let's do 0 0.0.1. 0 .1. Now let's see what happens. Mm, definitely didn't work. Change ghost effect by my... Oh, I got a minus 10. Aha, there we go. Take two. Now fading back in. And so if we switch this now to 100, now that we've got everything up here, that'll be the full ghost effect. So what should happen, I think, is when I click on her, she'll disappear and then fade in in the new location and the new color. Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna make another minor change here. She's fading in a little slower than I want. So instead of repeating 10 times, I'm gonna reduce the number of fades from 10 to five and then do the effect change from negative 10 to negative 20, from minus 10 to minus 20. And let's see if that makes her fade in a little faster. Yeah, there we go. So now what we'll do is I'll start this over. We'll actually go through it step by step because we've kind of, that was the experimentation to figure out what we wanted to do a little bit. Now we'll go through and actually just build the project together. You can build it with me and we'll just do it piece by piece now that we know specifically what we want to have happen. All right, so here we go. We can get started and do this together. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go grab our sprite. So down in sprites, we'll go scroll down until we find ladybug. Ladybug one right here. Got it. So we know we want to start in events with when this sprite is clicked. Because when we click on the ladybug, we want the ladybug to do the thing. And next up, we're going to go look under looks. In looks, we want to change the ghost effect to 100. The block starts out as set color effect to. We'll grab that. Click the triangle and change color to ghost. And we'll change the zero to 100. So if we click now, disappears. Let's go ahead and add in random position. Motion, random position, boop. The, the thing where we goofed is we can't see the ladybug anymore. So if I click stop, I can see him again. Next up, point and direction. We need to change the direction that we want to go looking. Actually, you know what? Here, let's take this out. Let's take this out so we can see this. We'll add the ghost effect in last. We're going to do point and direction now. Whoops. Yeah, point and direction. And if we click our... Button now, ladybug's moving. Cool, cool. We need to add the randomness to it. We're gonna come here, grab random, and drop that in. Next up, pick random. We need to go to 360 for this number. So change that to 360, not 3,600, 360. Clicking on the little header block, we're seeing most of what we need to see happen. The last thing we need to do in terms of the styling is under looks, we want to go grab the set color effect. No, I'm sorry, change color effect by 25 and push this right there. Click on that, working great. Now we get to put in the ghost stuff. So here comes the ghost. We're going to drop this into this slot, which it should just kind of open up for us. And now we click, get to disappear. Boop, gone. We can go into our control section. Under control, we'll grab our repeat and repeat. We want to do a five for the repeat. 
inside the five, let's just go ahead and get the ladybug showing back up. We're gonna click down, we're gonna go to change, and we wanna go to color effect by, and we'll switch this again to ghost effect by. And this time we need to go with minus numbers, so we'd go to minus 20. Ladybug should show back up now if I'm right. Let's add that weight in there. And that weight is gonna be under control. We're gonna go wait one second. Whoops, we're gonna click and drag it. And now we wanna change this to 0 0.1. And click, and there we go. Got it. There is our jumping color changing ladybug. Good stuff. All right, we'll go over some other videos that deal with the specifics of how some of those things work, but I think it's kind of fun to just play around with and see things in action maybe before I totally understand how they work. We'll get into all the details of all those things, but for now, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.